Do you have any control over where a bullet is going when you aim the gun? Most of the time. Some theists out there look at the United States and use it as an example as a sick society caused by the secularization of that society. Other theists out there use the United States as an example of a healthy society and what happens to a society when it is religious. So I wish these clowns out there would get their story straight. Does secularization of a society make it healthier or sick? Does religion make a society functional or dysfunctional? I have a document up here from the Science Journal, Evolutionary Psychology. Uh, you can get a link on that and download it and read it if you're interested. That looked at the question. The first questions one must ask to answer the question about religion and society is, what constitutes a healthy, functional society? The study looked at traits that they consider indicative of a healthy society and a sick society. Other people's opinions will vary. Including, but not limited to, homicide, percent of citizens in prison, suicides of young people, suicides of all ages, mortality rate of young people under 5, life expectancy in years, gonorrhea infection in young people, gonorrhea infection in all people, syphilis in young people, syphilis in all people, abortions of girls and young women, births to girls and young women, Fertility rate, marriage, duration of marriage, divorces among married couples, which seems redundant to me, alcohol consumption, life satisfaction, political corruption, adjusted per capita income, income e inequality, human poverty, unemployment, average hours worked, resource exploitation base, which you'll have to read the document to understand what they mean by that, percentage of people who are foreign born, that is cultural diversity, and cultural fractionalization, segregation. I would have also included gambling, but that was not included in the study. They then looked at indices for their religion index, of which some people will agree and some people will not. Such as accepting the fact that evolution occurred and occurs, the absolute belief in the gods, biblical literalism, attending church services, praying, an absolute belief in life after death, Belief a heaven exists, beliefs a hell exists, and percentage of agnostics and atheists. Those indicators for 17 countries were examined. If you want to understand how they're ex examined and the data collected, you'll have to read the document. As one can see, on this chart, to the left is the most religious, and on the right is the least religious countries. Also, on the Y scale... At the bottom is the most dysfunctional countries, and at the top is the most healthy and functional societies. Sadly to say, the United States comes in as the most religious and the most dysfunctional and sick of all 17 countries examined. One of the study's conclusions is that the more religious a country is, the more violent, the more sick, and the more dysfunctional that country is. The less religious countries are the healthier and safer and saner and more functional societies. One index example would be homicide, of course. As I noted, the most religious are on the left and the least religious are on the right. Number of homicides, the United States, of course, leads. Another example would be the percentage of the population in prison. Once again, the United States leads and it is the most religious country of the 17 studied. Also, United States, the most religious country, is also the highest and number one when it comes to citizens having gonorrhea. Some of the countries studied, their numbers are so small they didn't even show on the graph. And yet again, for syphilis, United States is number one and it is also, of course, the most religious. People interested in the subject will want to look at that entire document and once again, the link to that document, it is an Adobe Acrobat uh, file is in this video's description over there. The conclusion of the study is that the more religious a society is, the more sick and dysfunctional it is. That does not, meet, that does not equal causation, however. 
elation. It is not a causation. You'd have to have a hell of a lot more studies to show a causation that religion causes a society to be sick and dysfunctional. One can just as easily say that a sick and dysfunctional and unsuccessful society causes its citizenry to be religious. There's been, I I know of maybe at most uh, 20 such surveys and studies showing that the more atheist a society has, the more healthy and successful and safe it is. But I still don't see enough data that would show the causation effect. You know, society is so fucking complicated. Anyhow, this is yet another data point showing that when the statements are made by fundamentalist cultists, um, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Jew, whatever, pointing to America and saying, it is sick because it is secular, is wrong and they should stop making that stupid statement i don't know of any data out there that shows that the more atheist society has <coughs> pardon me the more dangerous and sick it is i have never seen that data the only people spewing that assertion are people are religious fanatics and religious leaders that have a vested political interest in furthering what has been falsified.